It has been about 10 days since the terrorist attack happened on most of the southern cities of Israel, Ashdod, Ashkelon, uh, Sidroth and Yikimi. These were the many cities which came under the terrorist attack and rockets that were fired from the locations of Hamas along the Gaza Strip. Since then, security forces have taken full control of the area. We have seen many cities have been left abandoned by the citizens. Sidroth, which hosted about 36,000 people, is now a ghostly town with an eerie vibe and empty houses all along. How the world is watching the situation unfold is also very interesting. Initially, the sympathy of the world was with the people of Israel, how they were massacred about 1,200 Israeli people, 200 or more than 200 of them soldiers and civilians who were just killed by these Hamas terrorists. The videos, the footages were all gory and blooded and they went around the world and made headlines in favor of Israel that the terrorist action of Hamas is condemnable. Now, after 10 days, Israel has been pounding Gaza with thousands of tons of ammunition targeting Hamas locations in the midst of all the counter-offensive that Israel has been doing on Gaza. Thousands of innocent Palestinians have also been killed, many of them children, about 500 or more children. This is what the, the figures are being claimed. About 2,500 civilians have been killed in overall operations that Israeli uh, air strikes has tried to do in Gaza in order to eliminate the entire Hamas militant organization. Many senior commanders and, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure of the Hamas were also eliminated, but at a very high cost of civilian casualty. And this is where the world's attention has now started focusing. Something that happened in Israel is quickly shifting to what is happening in Palestine. Many of the people working for agencies like United Nations, other NGOs uh, who have been in the helping and aiding and supporting the basic necessities, medical uh, or hospitals for the people of Palestine, they have also been targeted. Many doctors have died, many United Nations affiliated organizations, people working for them, they have died. Uh, so the, the entire situation that started uh, with, uh, with, with a kind of counteroffensive is turning into a political revenge from the Israeli side. That is what the many of the sympathizers who stand by Palestine, they have been claiming. Now, the world is watching it very, uh, you know, with the, with the bated breath. We have seen, uh, uh, you know, the Secretary Blinken, the Foreign Minister of USA, has been in this region for more than 78, 72 hours. Uh, he has been meeting all the leadership of Bahrain, of, uh, of, of West Bank, Palestine, Egypt, uh, Israel he has visited. We have also seen other leaders uh, coming from other countries like UK, Germany also. Their, their, their foreign ministers have also visited. And they have uh, expressed this support for the Israeli people. They have assured them all the available resources that, the, that these countries have, have in order to ensure their counteroffensive go on and they eliminate successfully the entire network of Hamas and their establishment. But at the same time, we have seen Russian foreign minister also visiting China. They are talking about how the situation is turning into a humanitarian crisis in Palestine. China, Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi has said that what Israel is doing in Palestine, it looks like a collective punishment for the people in Palestine. And this is coming from China, creates some sort of uh, negativity for Israel's counteroffensive that is ongoing in Gaza. It has been already 10 days and the deployment, the counteroffensive has been made very strong. Palestinian people who didn't have much options to go or to run, they have been given you know, few hours time, multiple windows were created. Every day we see three hour, four hour, four hours windows given to them to move from the northern Gaza to the southern Gaza. But that is not possible because of the kind of life they have been living, because of the kind of crisis that, that is waiting for them without any shelter, without any food, without basic amenities, where would they go? There is uh, United Nations and other agencies which have asked for some time before they could create a basic sheltering facility for the people who have been asked to move, about 1.1 million, and that is half of the Palestinian population. So the crisis that is emerging, that is evolving in, in Palestine is also very humongous and the attention has also been shifting on that side. Meanwhile, the entire deployment of uh, Israeli security forces, Israeli defense forces has been along Gaza. They have been very alert, very vigilant. 
multiple checkpoints have been created every vehicle is being checked and people media they have been asked to not go to the approaching uh, you know frontiers from where the gaza strip is not very far all through the day we have been hearing the shelling from israeli positions towards gaza uh, by artillery by tanks and in the the middle of it we have seen whizzing of drones to keep a vigil or uh, doing reconnaissance uh, on the palestinian uh, you know region also the jets of israeli government are flying over uh, palestine over gaza pounding rockets on hamas location uh, but but amidst all the crisis one thing has been clear that the entire movement entire counter offensive that was supposed to be very very aggressive very quick from the israeli side that is something that the that has not happened it has been almost 10 days and still the world is looking how the counter offensive of israel will go on how will israel ensure that every hamas militant or terrorist were killed but not at the cost of many citizens who are also becoming collateral damage in the entire operation of the counter offensive what israel has started in the wake of 7th of october's attack on its southern territories